everyone. I just wanted to uh, start today's video off by saying thanks for all the support on the last video. Um, I got a lot of feedback from you guys um, and it's great. Thank you. On another note, today we are probably going to take this thing for a drive. I'll uh, let you guys hear it. It's loud. For those of you who did not know this car, didn't catch the first video, this is my girlfriend's 2005 350Z, cold air intake, um, catless test pipes, and a cat back titanium tome. But I gotta do an oil change on that. Put that in the garage. Previously did an oil change last night, so I gotta clean up the mess. Then we'll get to this. Alright. So well, that's taken care of. Now we can go drive. Alright, let's go. Those of you who've never been out to my house, my driveway is not low car compatible. But you gotta do what you gotta do. driving this car sometimes because I never know when I'm gonna get pulled over in the dang thing it's so loud such a fun car though it drives so well handles so well even though it's all on stock suspension still it's not too soft not too firm it's just it's perfect
good thing about it is it don't really drone on the highway that bad. You keep your foot out of it, it stays quiet. I know some of you may or may not like all the driving footage. I'm iffy about it, but you got it. But um, it's crazy how much of a difference this car feels compared to like my 300ZX because um, you would think since they're both Z's and whatnot, you would think that they would drive somewhat similar. They don't. They're completely two different animals. But I truly believe that the 350Z... I truly believe that it's one of one of the greatest cars that you can buy. Because power's great, handles great. Parts are relatively cheap for it. There's a big aftermarket uh, platform for it. Um, you can make them look like whatever, um, make them sound like whatever. I know the, the whole VQ thing, they, they get really loud, but just like this car is, but I, I think they're worth it. Um, definitely worth it if you were, uh, going to start drifting. Um, a lot of people drift with them, but yeah, this car and, and my 300ZX, you would think they'd be similar, like I said, with them both being Nissan and the Z family, but they are two different animals. Um, my 300ZX is more, when you get in it, it's more, it's close to the ground. Like the whole car feels close to the ground. Like you feel like your, your legs are straight in it. Um, you feel like you're almost laying down in it. Um, this car, different animal they're both really comfortable cars uh, I've had a lot of people get in it and say that they really like it that they could get used to it um, there's a lot of good features that you can get with the car like heated seats uh, and you can get all kinds of stuff with them but like I said they're pretty much you know, an amazing car it uh they make decent power. Um, I've raced a lot of people with fast cars and and this car keeps up. But it's, it's definitely a nice car. I definitely, if you were thinking about getting into um, the cars and the car scene and whatnot, I would definitely recommend getting a 350Z because like, if you get in it, you don't treat it like crap don't rev it all the time, you drive it normal, you know, you respect the car, you will have a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely a respected car. Like I said, there's a lot of, there's a lot of aftermarket stuff that you can do to this thing. That'll be about it for today. Um, let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, like I said, I know some people may like the, all the driving footage, some may not. Um, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what, like I said, let me know what you guys want to see. But that'll be it for this one. See you guys later. Peace.